In this video, I'm going to go over how to read and write about multimodal texts. In many of your college classes, you'll have the opportunity to read and write about multimodal texts such as advertisements, maps, videos, or websites. Multimodal texts combine two or more of the following modes, words, static images, moving images, and sound. Writing about multimodal texts differs from writing about written text. A video is a different type of text from a report, of course, but there are also similarities. All texts can be approached in a critical way. The strategies and advice offered uh, in this book for critically reading and writing about texts also apply to multimodal texts. Here's an example of a multimodal text. Multimodal texts such as the World Wildlife Fund ad combines modes. Here words and an image work together to communicate an idea. Any multimodal text can be read that is carefully approached and examined to understand what it says and how it communicates its purpose and reaches its audience. When you read a multimodal text, you are reading more than words. You might also be reading a text's design and composition, perhaps even its pace and volume. Your work as a reader involves understanding the modes, words, images, and sound separately and then analyzing how the modes work together when you read a multimodal text, you'll find it's helpful to preview, annotate, and converse with the text just as with written text. So read actively. Previewing starts when you look at the basic details of a multimodal text and pay attention to first impressions. You ask questions about the text's subject matter and design, its context and creator or composer, and its purpose and intended audience. The more you can gather from a first look, the easier it will be to dig deeper into the meaning of a text. Annotating a multimodal text. Jotting down observations and questions helps you read actively to answer the question, what is this text about? In annotating, you generate ideas by paying close attention to each mode. For example, you might question the choice of music in, in an audio essay and wonder what this choice implies about the intended audience. The example below shows how one student, Ren Yoshida, annotated an advertisement. Conversing with a multimodal text or responding to a text and its author helps you move beyond your early notes to form judgments about the text you're examining. You might choose to examine the choice of mode, why the message is conveyed in moving images rather than printed words, for example, or why the background music becomes much louder at one point. You might point out something that is puzzling, contradictory, or provocative about the relationship between two modes. Outline to identify main ideas. Outlining is a useful tool to understand a text that you've been assigned to read. When you outline a multimodal text, you identify its main idea or purpose and sketch a list of its key elements. Because ads, websites, and videos may not explicitly state a purpose, you may have to puzzle it out from the details in the work. When you outline, put the text's main ideas and key elements in your own words. Summarize to deepen your understanding. Your goal in summarizing a multimodal text is to state the work's central idea and key points simply, objectively, and accurately in your own words, and usually in paragraph form. Since a summary must be fairly short, you must make judgments about what is most important. Here is the summary that Ren Yoshida drafted as he prepared to write an analysis of the advertisement below. The equal exchange advertisement is selling the message that together farmers and consumers hold the future of the planet in their hands. At the center of the ad is a farmer whose outstretched hands 
full of raw coffee, offer the fruit of her labor and a partnership with consumers. The ad suggests that in a global world, producers and consumers are bound together. A cup of coffee is more than just a morning ritual. A cup of coffee is part of an equal exchange that empowers farmers to stay on their land and empowers consumers to do the right thing. And this is the uh, empowering the farmer. So this is what they're talking about. So this is an example of a multimodal um, ad. And so then when you look at, an, at this ad, what do you see as you analyze this woman with her hands outstretched with coffee beans in her hands and she's offering you these coffee beans? What does this say about the ad? So you have to ask yourself questions. As you look at the ad, you ask yourself, what is being exchanged? Why is fairly traded so hard to read? Empowering. Why is this an elegant font? Who is empowering the farmers? Why is this why is this in all capital le letters? Is it to show strength? And in here, why is this a straightforward design and not much text? And what do the outlaw outstretched hands? What does that mean? Is she inviting partnership? And why is it heart-shaped? Is it foregrounded? And then the raw coffee beans are red, earthy, natural, warm. And so here you have positive verbs, consumers, choose, join, empower, farmers, stay, care, farm, support, plant. How do consumers know their money helps farmers stay on their land? So when you choose equal exchange, fairly traded coffee, tea, or chocolate, you join a network that empowers farmers in Latin America, Africa, and Asia to stay on their land, care for the environment, farm organically, support their family, plan for the future. Guidelines for analyzing a multimodal text. The following questions may help you break down and examine a text, such as an advertisement, a website, or an infographic. What is your first impression of the text? What details in the text create this response? When and why was the text created? Where did the text appear? What clues suggested, suggest the text's intended audience? What assumptions are being made about the audience? What is the thesis, central idea, or message of the text? Does this text tell a story? How would you sum up the story? What modes are used and why? How do the modes work together? How does the arrangement of sounds or design details help, help convey the text's meaning or serve its purpose? Write a summary of the multimodal texts. Mention the title of the text and the name of the co composer and provide some brief information about the context. State the text's central idea. Maintain a neutral tone. And as you present the text idea, use third person case point of view and the present tense. The focus of the ad is. Devaney uses the infographic to argue. And if you are using, if you are writing an APA style, you can go to APA 3B. Keep your focus on the text. Put your summary in your own words. Analyze to dis demonstrate your critical reading. Whereas a summary most often answers the question of what a text say, an analysis looks at how a text conveys its main idea or message. As you read and reread a multimodal text, previewing, annotating, and conversing, you are forming a judgment of it. An effective thesis statement for an analytical writing about a multimodal task, text responds to a question about the text or tries to resolve a problem in the text. In other words, when you look at an ad and you want to figure out what is the central idea of that ad, what are they trying to sell me, and what is the purpose of that ad. And so here in this uh, um, essay, he, Yoshida writes a uh, paper about the, uh, about the ad. A farmer, her hard-working hands full of coffee beans, reaches out from an equal exchange advertisement. The hands in the shape of a heart 
offer to consumers the fruit of the farmer's labor. The ad's message is straightforward. In choosing equal exchange, consumers become global citizens partnering with farmers to help save the planet. Suddenly, a cup of coffee is more than just a morning ritual. A cup of coffee is a moral choice that empowers both consumers and farmers. This simple exchange appeals to a consumer's desire to be a good person, to protect the environment and do the right thing. Yet the ad is more complicated than it first seems, and its design raises some logical questions about such an exchange. Although the ad works successfully on an emotional level, it is less successful on a logical level because of its promise for an equal exchange between consumers and farmers. The focus of the ad is a farmer, Jesus de Quevedo, and more specifically, her outstretched cup hands. Her hands are full of red, raw coffee, her life's work. The ad successfully appeals to consumers' emotion, assuming they will find the farmer's welcoming face and hands caked with dirt, more appealing than statistics. It seems almost rude not to accept the farmer's generous offer. In fact, how can a consumer resist helping the environment? So all of this is a paper about that ad that you saw earlier. And so here you hear this, this is written in MLA. So if you're using APA, you would write references here. So that is an example of how you would analyze um, that's how, this is an example of how you would analyze a multimodal um, ad. So if you have any questions and you, um, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Professor H Writing Channel.